surgery to do with the brain is always a major surgery but with the newer advancements and the uh, equipments available with the technology available most of the surgeries following the surgery patients are discharged in 2 or 3 days what exactly we do before the surgery so first once the patient has the set of symptoms he is diagnosed uh, with the scans with the ct scan and mri once he is diagnosed with brain tumor then we do a pre surgical evaluation wherein the patient will be undergoing a basic blood test we call it as the surgical profile once all the tests are done and once his uh, cardiac evaluation and other statuses are checked then we take him up for surgery during the surgery uh, we tend to remove the tumor and then after the surgery he will be kept in icu for a day and then shifted to room and uh, patient will be in uh, the room under observation for the next uh, few days when we feel that the patient is fit then the patient is discharged and how often he has to come to the hospital after the surgery is again dependent on the patient's age and uh, his set of uh, symptoms after the surgery like if he has uh, uh, severe headaches and uh, weakness then he has to visit the hospital uh, maybe once in two weeks or three weeks uh, till the symptoms subside but uh, if the symptoms have subsided after the surgery then probably he may it have to visit once in a month or twice uh, once in two months what else he will require after the surgery it again depends upon the biopsy when we send the uh, tissue for biopsy Uh, we know whether it is a benign tumor or a malignant tumor if it is a benign tumor the patient uh, will not require a regular follow up but if it is a malignant tumor then we tend to start him on uh, radiation in addition to radiation probably he will also require chemotherapy because it is malignant or cancerous